So a few days ago, I was going through Instagram and I realized that Instagram now has a new kind of account. Now, if you're familiar with Instagram and used it a lot, you would know that Instagram has two kinds of accounts before. We have the personal account and we have the business account. But they rolled out a new type, which is the creator's account for influencers and creatives alike. In this video, I want to walk you through the new features that the creator account gives to um, users and also what you can use the Instagram, the Instagram and Facebook Creator Studio to do as a creative or influencer. Thank you for staying to watch this video. My name is PC Timmy and I create brand marketing and inspirational videos here on YouTube. If this is the first time you're coming to this channel, please make sure that you don't leave without subscribing and also turn on the bell notification button so you always know when I release new videos, which is every week. So earlier on in 2019, Instagram released the creator account as a beta to just a few people, but then later on, they released it to like almost to everybody. Um, the reason is because Instagram is trying to, or I think that Instagram is trying to actually double down on influencers and they want to separate influencers and creatives from businesses. So they've given influencers and creatives special kind of features that they think that businesses might not necessarily need. Now, if you use an Instagram creator account, what features are available to you? First one is that you can hide your page category and city. Now, if you're very familiar with the Instagram business account, you know that once you convert your personal account to a business account, one of the first changes you see on your Instagram profile is that there's usually a page category um, underneath your username, and then you also have city buttons, which could be your email address, your um, phone number, or your physical address, so people can actually find you. Now, when you change the creator account, Instagram now gives you the option to actually leave that out. So you can have a creator account without having a page category. Also, if you want to have a page category, it doesn't necessarily has to be the same page category as your Facebook page. Of course, you're aware that converting business to, for personal to business, you need to connect to your Facebook page. So you need to do the same thing for the creator account, but this time it will not automatically pick the page category from the, from the Facebook page. It gives you the option to choose your own category or even type in your own category. And then you can choose to have CTA buttons, the email address, phone number, physical address or not. The second thing it gives you is that you can now see growth metrics. Now, you can still see insights for every post. You can see, see insights from your insight button on the, whole, on the whole Instagram about your audience and everything. But a key type of insight that you would not see on a business account, but it's available on a creator account, and I love it so much, is the growth metric. Now, the growth metric shows you for every seven days the amount of new follows and unfollows that you have. Typically, creatives and influencers or people generally want to know how many people are following them. And so usually you will use third party apps. But if you convert your account to a creator account, by the time you go to your insights on Instagram, you would see your good metric, the number of follows you have this week, the amount of follows, and of course the average, which means the amount of growth you have. I think that's a very brilliant metric. And so since I create turn my account to creators, I'm always checking, okay, I've grown by how much this particular week and how many people have also unfollowed me. It's a really brilliant one. And then another very interesting feature that creator account gives you is that you now have a way to segment your messages. So typically on the personal or business Instagram account, you have two kinds of, your messages is segmented into two. You have the request, which is messages from people who you do not follow. Um, and then you have the general, which is from people that you accept or people that you follow back. But now Instagram has, creator account has three. So you have primary, you have general, and you also have the request. So as usual, the request is from people who you do not follow. But then the primary are for people who you want to have conversations and get notifications from. And then the general is your fans that you don't necessarily want to get notifications from. So the way it works is that everybody that you put on your primary, whenever they send you a DM, you get a notification as usual. But anybody who you transfer to general, you won't get a notification unless you actually open Instagram and then open your DM to actually see that, oh, you have this certain amount of um, messages from you now. So it kind of just helps you to say, okay, you know what? If I have a lot of friends and a lot of fans, but it's only my friends I really want to be having um, notifications at the top of my phone, then I'll put only my real friends or my family in a primary session uh, so I can get notifications. And if for everybody, all the fans and everybody who I don't really, who I'm not very familiar with, they can be in general. And if somebody in the primary starts disturbing me too much, I can just swipe to the left 
and then add them to general. If somebody in general becomes like a really close pal, I can swipe to the left and then add them to primary. So it's a really cool feature. Um, since I turned my account to a creator account, I found it really helpful because now I'm able to segment, oh, these are the people I really want to have conversations with as often as I can via DMs on Instagram, and this is just, you know, everybody else that I might not necessarily care about. And then my request is still there. And then when you open your request, when you click on accept, you also have the option to say, okay, am I accepting this particular new message to my primary inbox or to my general inbox? I think it's a pretty cool feature. Try it out. So another cool thing that happens when you have an Instagram creator account is that it gives you a creator studio or a feature on your Facebook page. Now remember I said that you can change, you can have a, an Instagram creator account without connecting to a Facebook page. Same way you can have a business account without connecting to a Facebook page, right? Now, but once you turn your Instagram account to a creator account, automatically the Facebook page that you connected it to will then have a new tab called Creator Studio. I think you can see it on the screen right now. Now, there are a couple of things that Creator Studio does. Creator Studio kind of has two compartments. It has the Facebook compartment where you can actually manage your Facebook content as a creative, and it also has the Instagram part, which is Instagram Creator Studio, that allows you to manage your Instagram account from your Facebook page. So let's talk about them separately. For the Instagram part, there's the Instagram Creator Studio, which you can find on the Facebook page you connected to your Instagram account. There are a few things that you can do from there. Number one, you can manage all your Instagram posts from your Instagram Creator Studio. So you can see the amount of likes, comments, even segment, segment your Instagram posts by the type. So you can see the posts that are carousels, you can see the ones that are videos, you can see your stories, I can see the engagement of everything there. It kind of archives all your Instagram content on your Creator Studio on Instagram. Secondly, you can view your Instagram insights. Now, not just the, the post, right, the engagement on each post, but the engagement on your account. So basically, the same thing that you see on your Instagram insight from the mobile app, you can see it, but even more deeper level of um, insight on your Instagram creator studio on your Facebook page, right? So it can show you performance, it can show you um, loyalty, you can, it shows you a lot of things that you can probably see on the screen right now. And then the best part of this creator studio for me is that you can now post from Facebook to Instagram and you can schedule Instagram posts. Now, if you've used Instagram for a while, you will know that it's practically impossible to schedule Instagram posts directly from a Facebook or Instagram. You probably need third-party apps like Lita or etc. to be able to schedule posts on Instagram. But now, if you're using the Creator Studio on your Facebook page, you can be on your Facebook page, you can upload a video there or a photo or a carousel, whatever, and you can post on Instagram and you can even schedule it. So I can schedule a post, if I put it up now, I can start scheduling it for either from 10 minutes away up until six months. I think it's a brilliant feature because for as long as I can remember, I've been waiting for a way that from the Facebook body of apps, I'll be able to actually schedule posts easily. And so this time, you don't, it's not just bothering about, oh, the only way I can cross post is Instagram to Facebook. Now you can cross post from Facebook to Instagram and even schedule your app your post. I think that's really, really brilliant. Now, next thing is what is on the Facebook part of the Creator Studio. The first thing is that you can manage all your inboxes in one. So you can connect your Messenger, you can connect your Instagram, you can connect your Facebook inbox to your Creator Studio. So you can manage all messages. So you can see your Instagram DMs, whether it's primary, whether it's general, or it's request on the Creator Studio. You can also see your Facebook messages there. So it kind of just gives you a place to manage all your messages from one place. Another thing there is that you see a lot more insights. God, insights are brilliant. Performance, loyalty, there's so much insight. And insights really excite me because data is life, right? No matter who you are, influencer, creator, um, creative, business person, data is very important because it gives you knowledge, gives you insight on how to better create content, how to better engage with people if they are actually liking your content right now. It does so much for you. And so I'm really excited to see insight because it tells me about how I'm doing good or bad. So another very exciting thing that I saw on Facebook Creator Studio is, drum rolls please, monetization. Apparently, Facebook now has this thing where creatives can actually monetize their content on Facebook, right? So the minute you um, turn your Instagram to Creator Studio, it actually takes it straight to approval to see if you are approved based on content that has been on both profiles before your Facebook page and Instagram page and see if you are approved for monetization. So once you go to your Creator Studio and you see monetization, you can click on it, 
and then you see whether you are approved for monetization or not. And then there's this whole payout setting that you have to actually set up with account so you can start paying for the content that you create. I think it's brilliant. And I think this is where Facebook is now going to start competing with YouTube and the rest of them. But anyway, let's move on. So aside monetization, there's right manager where you can actually manage your content and actually have copyrights to the things that you create. And there's also sound collection. So if you actually create a lot of content, video content, um, and you need free sound, you can get free sound from um, Facebook Creator Studio on that sound collection. Really, I think there's a whole lot of benefit. Um, if you're creative out there, you're an influencer, you're, cre you're a creator, you do something creative, you're not totally just a business person, I think you should definitely consider turning your Instagram account to a creator account and then to go to your Facebook page, click on Creator Studio, and just see all the goodies there and experiment and test and test and play with it. There are going to be amazing things. I'm sure they're going to be adding more features as we go on. Uh, I'm going to do another video sometime, talk about the whole monetization thing and payout at it. But for now, just have fun exploring. I'm just going to reiterate because these are like key things for me. Key things why this creator, Instagram creator blew my mind. One, the fact that you don't have a creator studio on Facebook that you can cross post and even schedule posts on Instagram. The fact that you can manage all your content from one page, your Facebook content, your Instagram content, all your DMs from one place on the creator studio. The fact that on your Instagram, you can then separate your request from just general people and from primary contacts that you really want to have conversations with. And the amazing fact that you can see your growth metric, the number of follows and of follows you have every single week. I'm pretty sure that they're going to be adding more features and I can't wait to see it. Have you started using Instagram Creator Studio? If you have, please tell me your experience so far. Tell me what you like most about it. If you have any questions about it, also comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, if you haven't yet, go there, go try it out, then come back and tell me your experience with it. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was beneficial to you. If this is your first time, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. If this is not, share this content, like, comment, also turn on the bell notification button.